what's going on guys um today we're going to be going over three tips that will really make your b-roll a lot more cinematic and smooth um first right off the bat uh, we're gonna go with speed ramping and kind of like tempo so if we go to this first shot that we have right here as you can see he kind of scoops the coffee beans up in normal speed and I look for a place where it looked cool or visually appealing slow mode, which obviously I decided on right there. So if we were to just have this um, play as normal speed and not color graded, it would look something like this. So as you go in and you before you upload on your timeline, you're just kind of going through some of the clips that you got from your shoot. Look for different things like this that you know kind of like, okay, you kind of have an eye, like this is gonna look good, slow mode. Um, that's huge. And then you kind of like put it, however you organize your footage, just make sure you know where those clips are at. And as you can see, when I came to edit it, I made two different clips. So I, I brought it in as one and I just cut it and I slow mode this. So most people call this speed ramping. And it just like kind of adds like a cinematic feel where it's going fast and you kind of just like brush it off slowly. We can watch that one more time. The second one we want to go over is not so much something you do while you're editing. It's more so whenever you're, um, when, whenever you are actually filming. So this is what most people call an in-camera transition. So we have this sequence right here where it's dropping down. As you see, it looks like I like go downwards into the next um, shot. It's real, it's real smooth, it's really seamless, but most of this wasn't actually done in my timeline. It was done when I was recording it. So if we go over here, I have what this, what that exact video looked like pre-color grade and pre-edit. Um, and what I did was I recorded it going down, obviously, and then I quickly brought it down. And in knowing that, you wanna remember that your next shot, whatever you're getting, whatever you want to um, transition into, you're coming down as well. So, you're, so you wanna end the first shot coming down and start the second shot coming down. And that's how you get this look right here. So that's all done in camera. Um, obviously you come in and you tweak stuff in editing, but for the most part, that's 85% done in your camera. And the third and final tip is adding cross dissolve. So cross dissolve is kind of like what most people learn as their first transition. And a lot of people shy away from it afterwards because it's like really basic. But you see how smooth this transition is right here. Without the crosses off, it's a little bit harsher. It still looks decent, but it's just not as smooth. So we go and we watch. You see it kind of just like jumps. So adding that, adding cross dissolves in some of your transitions, especially movements like I was working with for this particular shoot where I'm kind of like moving down like we just talked about in the last tip, or maybe you're moving to the left or right. And you really just want to, um, smooth it up, you just have to add a cross dissolve. So that one's kind of harsh. If we add the cross dissolve back, it really smooths it out a lot. And that's it. Um, those are just three tips. I'm by no means as good as some of these other YouTubers, but I think those three right there will really take your videos to the next level if previously you did not know that. If you guys want to know anything else, of what was done. I think I'm gonna make a sound design tutorial for this video, maybe some color grading. But if you want anything else, just comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and peace.